Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Today we're going to take a look at completing the Night Fae Covenant storyline. Uh, this video is going to start with us being at 60. Of course, if you go through Twisted Fates, you can choose your covenant prior. But these are going to be the main story quests that you won't get until you get level 60. So hopefully this video will be helpful and enjoyable. If it is, go ahead and press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get into the video. All right, so after turning to level 60 or um, when you enter into level 50 after the mall and you do twisting fates you will come here and pick your covenant after you've done that she's going to give you the quest uh flutterback or sorry no in the heart of the forest which wants you to meet outside of the heart of the forest bolvar here also has the quest flutterback um this i think only occurs when you change or when you come from a different covenant so you may not see this one available but the first step after getting the quest from her and or him is to make our way to ardent wield okay correction on flutterback uh, that quest you actually will need to go into the mall and go to torghast and you'll complete the rescuing of Bane scenario. Um, the reason that I've already got it here and it just says to go to uh, Flutterby is, or Flutterby, is because I've already done that through a different campaign. Alright, so you'll want to fly to the refugee camp in Ardenweald. And once you land, we're going to come over here and talk to Lady Moonberry. We're going to pick up the quest to Boon of Shapes, which just has us follow her. Right after a little bit of following an RP, you'll be presented with this blue circle. And you click this to kneel. And we'll go through 30 seconds of RP. After that RP, we then turn in the quest to Moonberry, and then we pick up the next quest, Commune with Mooberry, Moonberry, and we're gonna do us, excuse me, we're gonna do the selection Let Us Commune with Each Other. If you've already gone through everything in here, uh, you'll have this other option, I Know My Way Around. Um, but for the sake of the video, we'll go ahead and do the full part, just in case it's your first time going through. Right, after a moment of RP, they're going to want us to go to the theater, which is located outside of the heart up here. So we're going to run over there. Right, and once we've made it into the theater, we're going to come up onto the stage and run all the way back so that we can put on a show. So we're going to turn in the quest here. Will that be Pick up the next everyone? quest, break a leg. Just have us go back to the stage and we'll for look for time, this glowing thing here. We're going to stand on it and then click begin Not act one. We'll get a little bit of a story after a moment. We will then have to fight. And basically this whole play is going to be about six bosses, I think. And essentially we just fight them as they go through the play. Uh, each boss is a little bit different. So this one is Xavius. Not too difficult. We wait for a little bit more RP. Now it has us go back. And now we're going to begin Act 2, which is Gul'dan. Alright, after rinse and repeating a few times, killing Kill Jaden and Argus, we then are prompted to take a bow. And 
we wait for them to go through a bit more RP. Once that's done, we're going to run back over here and turn in, break a leg. We get the next quest, the fourth wall, or war. And in which case, we need to come over here. We need to grab this. And we're going to slowly walk over to that circle and click on it. And once we've clicked on that, we're going to come over here and click on the Teledrasi. Now we need to go backstage again. So we'll run our way up here. We're going to click on Satin Stitch. Say, so give me a costume, please. Now hit your mark. Right, and then now we need to come out this way. We need to go to this light right here. And then click this. The Sargeras, here we go. Bam! So we stabbed the world down here, but the sword stuck up there. Next costume. Now we need to go back and change costumes again. All right, once we've changed into Nathanos, we run back here to the flag, click on this torch. Now we've got to change costumes again. All right, and once we change into the horse, we need to come through here, and we basically need to run through all of these sieges. Well, not all of them, but 15 of them. Like so. Then we need to come back and get rid of the horse costume. Once we've removed the costume, we need to come out here, and we need to look for these little glowing rocks and click on five of them. So we'll just do like so. Coveting this aptly named Azerite, the Alliance Okay, now we're gonna go back here and turn it in. Once turned in, we're going to the need to get or we're gonna have the quest What's My Motivation? Come over here, take place on the stage, and click on this to begin Act 6. Again defeat it. One thing to mention is you will need to click on this to start up the battle. Alright, and after defeating the last one, we go to the circle and click Awaiting the Queen's Judgment. Once we've done that, then we come to Lady Moonberry to turn in that quest. Now we're going to come over here and talk to Ysera, pick up her quest. I am bound to put the dream and we'll click I am ready to go. Alright, Ysera will drop you off here. And in which case we need to come down and talk to the attendant. To the Say, take me to the queen. She's going to fly us up here. And then we will turn in. Oh, well, no, we will come right here and we'll click this. We'll get a little bit of video. And then we come and talk to her. Okay, now we've got our class ability. And then we pick up the next quest from her. Which will all be Keeper of Great Renown. In which case, we're going to come here to talk to Shimmerwing and say I'd like to leave, which will just bring us back down here. And now we're going to come over here and talk to Laurel. Need some help? Okay, and then this is where you start getting your renown. We'll turn in that quest, pick up the next one, which has us speak with Bloodwin. Out there. In the meantime, you can also turn in 
flutter back if you have that and you'll get five souls into your sanctum you'll come down here and you're gonna talk to Saihad turn in that quest and then we're gonna go up to speak with Bloodwin okay when we come to Bloodwin, pick up that quest, and he wants us to go back, or she wants us to go back to Zihad, which is down this way. And right there, this big tree. So we'll turn that in. Okay, and so now... The quest is into the reservoir, which means Bounty of the Groves opened optional. Bounty of the Groves is what you get for completing a calling. And uh, 375 anima deposited. So what we'll need to do now is complete the calling to get the Bounty of the Grove Wardens. And to do that, we have to do three world quests. And you can do basically any any three. All right, and once you've completed the three world quests, you'll turn that into Bloodwind. Then we will have the Bounty of Grove Wardens. We click and open that. Gave us a conduit that we can't quite turn in yet. And we still need to gain anima to deposit. Um, you can do this through basically any way that you gain anima. Um, it's 375, so not the whole thousand. So we'll come over here, and I don't believe I have any additional. Yeah, I don't have any to deposit yet. Alright, once you have enough anima, you'll then come back to Saihad. Click show me the sanctum. And deposit. That will then complete that quest, in which you can turn it into Saihad. And now he wants you to upgrade the sanctum. So depending on how much you've gotten, you want to find something. I like going after the command table because it's only 500. Once you have selected something to research, that one will be complete. We need to go upstairs. We need to talk to Lady Moonberry. Turn that up and then we need to come over here. And we've got some quests to turn into Flutterby. You still have your health. So we'll turn you those in. Honor to fight now it's going to tell us to soul bind with Naya. we got to wait for a moment. And wait. What do you ask? You will click I'm ready to begin. You'll get a little video. How can I turn in the quest to her. Now you're going to click on your Forge of Bonds and activate. And let's see, and then once you've done that, you need to activate the first power. You can then turn it into Naya and then turn it into Flutterby. And now it wants us to return to Lady Moonberry. You could probably use a little help, huh? And now we uh, come downstairs and talk to Cecily. Friends of the forest. That's gonna give us the thousand anima quest. And for the next part of the story. We will need to get up to Renown 5. In order to do that, 
you can just do um, callings. Some of them should show. All right. you have my attention. And what is it you require? Uh, that one doesn't. I trust so let's look at the next one, which is up here. Click on her. I serve the queen. And that one does. <clears throat> Excuse me. The other ways you can get renown is by doing dungeons and by the world boss. The dungeons will not show when you go to Dungeon Finder and you do uh, random. It won't show that you're going to get a renown. It usually drops off of the last boss. So we'll work on getting our renown up until we get the next chapter. The next part of your story is going to be at renown 5. And it will be from Ysera. We'll come to her and pick up the Tyrande quest, Daughter of the Night Warrior. For this part, we need to make our way to Orbos, to the so Enclave. My we need to come trapped. into this room In and wait Don't for a little bit of RP. It. After a bit of RP, we'll I talk to her and turn that in. She's no going to give us the quest the to... We jump into the them. mall. Lead on. Once we've arrived in the mall, we're gonna come up here, talk How to her, and turn that in. This place? The place now she gives us a quest for the, her dream location. So we need to make there. our way over here. Once we have made our way down here, this is my we'll see handiwork. her here. Just as I dreamed. We need to talk to, to her. That'll update the quest, in which case we need to make our way this way. We're gonna follow through basically these trail of corpses here. And then we're gonna make our way up to here. Right. Well, no, not right there. You're chasing me. I don't want to do nothing. I just want to do my quest. So we're actually going to make our way up this way. Okay. And now we can see it on the map right here we'll just follow through she's basically right here Mindo. we wait for a little bit of RP Chandris. after about a bit of RP this guy right here will attack us so we need to defeat him after you defeat him you want to make your way up and to the left over to here of on the trail in which we can turn in the quest Such right here. And you take the river. I will provide cover from along now, the bank. we need to make our way into here and find her. We want to make Go. our way Leave the mall with us. here on the map, the right here. Power you. And I dragged no. everything, of course. Right, and after we sit here and go through some RP, we can then return to the refuge. If you have this, you can click it. Once here at the refuge, we will come here. She'll be standing right here. How can we turn in that quest. Follow me into Torgast. Now we, we get to go into haste. Torgast. Once we are in Torgast, we then need to come up here and Talk Such to Chandris and, and click follow Chandris Feathermoon into Torghast. We must not okay, from here we're basically gonna go through and complete the scenario, which is mostly just following her and fighting enemies. And at the very end, you'll find this guy. We just need to defeat him. And in order to defeat him, we need to click these 
souls. To get rid of his shield. Once his shield is down, then you can actually defeat him. You'll follow along a bit further, and then you'll reach this guy, who we have to defeat. After we defeat him, then we need to click on her Come with us. and do a little bit of RP. Okay, after you do that, a little bit of RP ensues. We then have to click on this crystal here and wait for it to fill up with all the souls. Once it's filled up and a little bit of RP goes, you'll click on her. Click, um, I can bring you and these souls to Ardenweald. That will bring us outside here. In which case we need to run up here, turn the quest into Chandras, and get the next quest, which has us going to the heart of Ardenweald. Once we make it back to the heart, we're going to come over to Ysera, and then we will click I am ready to release the Night of Souls into Ardenweald. We wait for a bit of RP. After that, we turn in the quest to Ysera. And you can pick whichever. There may be another who can aid us in saving oh, Toronto. Oh, what an ugly rope. Ardenweald will survive the drought. Okay, and that this completes I that swear. chapter. All right, for the next part, as you're wandering around, this mask of Wamsomdi will come to you. At which case, he'll give you the quest on the other side. We need to click this icon that will transport us here. In which case, we're going to talk to Bomsamdi. And then we need to talk to him again and say, return me to Ardenweald. We'll actually transfer you right outside of the other side entrance. We need to make our way to Tirnaval. All right, and once we made it to Tirnaval, we need to make our way over here, just outside. We need to look for these seed pods. We'll click on them. And then there's a second one down here. No, over here. That we need to click on. We'll click on that. Now the quest is going to update to where we need to come way down here. Once over here, we're going to look for this right here. Click on it. And now we're going to make our way back into Tirnaval. All right, my apologies, not quite Tirnaval, but we need to make our way here and click on this. Okay, then we can turn in the quest to the mask and pick up the next quest following the trail. In which case we need to come over here. We need to click this icon. We need to look for the trail. We just follow that. All right, and that trail is going to lead us to the Spirit Glen. We wait for a little bit of uh, him talking. And then we come down and click this right here. Turn in the quest to the mask. And then we get two quests, Stolen Loa and Minions. So we're going to come into here. And we need to kill eight minions, or eight forces. We also need to go up to these three big guys and kill them. Well, correction, you don't have to kill this one. We need to come over here and kill this guy. We need to make our way to this guy, and in order to inspect him, we basically have to clear out the two guards, and which is the same thing you do with Akar. Okay, after you kill the eight and inspect those two guys and kill the big guy right there, 
We then turn in both of those quests to the mask. And he's going to have us go back to the heart. Alright, once back at the heart, we're going to look for Sparkle Dew. Click on her and say, take me to the queen's audience chamber. Once you make it up here, you need to come to the queen and click on I'm here on, on behalf of Bonsomdi. He needs our help. So we click that. Wait for a little bit of RP. Okay, after a moment of RP, we'll turn the quest into the queen. We need to come and talk to him. And what will you do? And now he's going to have us travel to three different locations. We need to go here. Alright, so once that Glitterfall Basin, we're going to come to Sorcha. Tell uh, the forces of Mazula have invaded Ardenweald. Then we're going to take the Flight Master to Tirnaval. Once at Tirnaval, we're going to make our way down here. We're going to talk to Coda. Same thing. And now we head back to the Flight Master and we got to go to Hibernal Hollow. So we will click on the Flight Master and fly our way down there. Once here, we're going to come and talk to Molan. And we're going to say the same thing. So now the quest will update and we need to fly to Tirna Nock. No, I guess not fly, run. This is the closest flight path. So we're going to make our way over here. Okay, once we've made it over here, we're going to talk to Lady Moonberry. And we need to basically kill forces until this bar is filled up. All right, after you have made the bar reach 100%, it's then going to send you down here. In which case we need to fight Dumbwalla. Dumbala. So we'll just follow this path. And it's basically going to be at the entrance of the other side. And there he is. Once you've made it to him, you're going to press this. And we're going to fight him in this form. Alright, once he's defeated, we can then come right over here turn in the quest to Moonberry and now she wants us to go back to the Winter Queen in the heart of the forest all right once we're back at the heart we'll go to the Queen we turn that quest in and that chapter is now complete the next chapter will be Night Warriors curse which isn't going to be available to you until you've hit a renown level of 11. Alright, so the next step is going to be clicking on Ysera and getting the quest the Speaker of Delun uh Speaker of Illune. In which case we'll have to speak with Thirnax. So what we're gonna do is head just outside of the heart. Make our way here to this circle, and we'll see them here. We'll go ahead and click on Thirnax, explain the situation, and wait for some RP. After the RP, we'll then talk to Quadrin, turn that in, and get the next quest, which is going to have us come just into here. And we're going to come up here. What are we supposed to do here? Come on now. I'm supposed to repair this somehow. Alright, after a little bit of RP, we will then talk to Quadrin. We'll pick up broken webs and a little pruning. Then we're also going to run a straight forward here. And we're going to click on this to get the third quest, Spriggan Snares. 
Alright, so we've got to kill these guys. We'll need to make our way here. And we'll see this. We'll go ahead and click on it. We'll then make our way to the middle here. Click on this one. We'll then need to come here and click on him, which we should have done earlier, but we can do it now. We'll see he's getting out of there. And then we'll be able to click on these things right here, which will release the captured ones. Of course, we'll have to do eight of those. We will also make our way here on this side to click on this bramble thorn or whatever it is. All right, once we've completed that, we're going to turn in all three quests to him who will follow you. And then he gives us the next quest, the Garden of Night. In which case we're going to make our way down here to this right, this area. Come up here. Wait for nothing. Click on that. Say I do hear something. And now we've got these guys. We just survived their little ambush. And after a little while, the sickle shanks will show up. We've got to defeat him. We will then speak with Theranax and pick up the next quest, Broken Hearts, which is going to have us speak with Lord Hearn back near the heart. All right, once we've made it here, we'll just talk to him, turn that in. Then we need to go to Lady Moonberry. So we make our way into the heart, and then we've got to find Lady Moonberry, who's going to be over here. We're going to click on her. Don't worry about accepting that quest. And say, do you know anything about curses? So now we wait for a little bit of RP. Alright, then we can turn in the quest to her. And we'll pick up the next quest Archivist on the Edge, in which case we need to make our way over here. Alright, so once we've made it up here, go ahead and talk to Archivist Drayden, turn in that quest, and then we're going to get the next quest, Curses. We need to kill these guys. Well, okay, not that one in particularly in order to loot the sealed scroll. As you're killing them, you'll get pieces. You have to get five pieces in total to make the whole item. All right, once you have all five, we'll need to get a binding. The binding you're going to get from this area, this unleashed major hex. So we'll go ahead and kill it, loot it. Once you've got all of that, we can then right click on this, which will give us the full scroll. And we're going to make our way back to the heart. All right, so once we've made it to the heart, we're going to go back to Lady Moonberry, turn in that scroll. And now we're going to pick up the quest from her. And Ysera, if you have them available. Alright, so we need to come out here and talk to Vesper Bloom. We need to ask her for a secret. And then the quest will then update. We have to find the uh, Book of Secrets. Alright, so we need to make our way here on the map. The quest will tell you here, but you need to be here and find this cave right here. We're just going to follow through to the end of the cave. I guess I could use this to go a little faster. We need to kill this matriarch. 
Okay, once we've killed the matriarch, we're gonna loot it for the slime-covered Book of Secrets. Alright, so next up we need to make our way here. And we need to kill these bristle cones so that we can uh, get this mischief touched anima. Alright, so after killing and looting a couple of those, you should get 60 of that. It shouldn't take you very long. Alright, so next we want to head to Ogremore and come here to this one. Click on Portal to Twilight Highlands. Then once it loads, we need to go quite far. Alright, so once we get here, we need to come and talk to this giant dragon. Who's no longer a dragon. Wait for a little bit of RP. Okay, after a little bit of RP, then we come over here and click on this item. Take a small carving of Ysera. And now we need to head back to Ardenweald. Alright, once back at the heart, we're going to talk to Ysera. We'll talk to Lady Moonberry. And then we want to go back out this way and talk to Vesper Bloom. So we'll just run over here. Talk to her. Click on this down here. Take that. And now we're going to go turn that in back in side of the heart. Let's run this way and turn this one into Moonberry as well. Okay, then we get the next quest, which is mending a broken heart. Ah, we need to click this right here and to cast greater our counter curse. Once that's done, turn it into Thirnax. And that completes the chapter four. Is that right? Yes, chapter four. So now we can work on chapter five. To start up chapter 5, we're going to come out here and talk to Lord Hearn. Then we need to make our way up here. Alright, once we've made it here, we're going to talk to Aralon. Turn that in, and then we get the quest Mask of Deception. We need to run this way and kill us some enemies okay and after killing about six of them and looting two masks we can then come back to arlon turn that in and then we need to go back down here we need to put on this mask these guys will no longer be enemies we just run past them We're gonna come over here, examine that body. And we need to make our way over here. And into this cave right here. Examine that body. I can't believe that mask is actually working. Okay, we need to avoid those and make our way here, click on this one. Okay, next we need to make our way over here, I'm going around the long way, 
so I can avoid detection. Come down here and click on this. Turn that in. Pick up the next quest. And now we need to go back to the heart. All right, once back at the heart, we need to make our way outside here to talk to Lord Hearn. Turn in that quest, pick up the quest from Ysera. And at this point, we need to head to Drustvar. Okay, and to get to Drustvar, first we need to go to Ogremore or Stormwind, depending on your faction. Then we need to head to Zuldazar, or of course, uh, Borealis, Borealis, I don't know how you say it, if you're Alliance. And then from there, we need to make our way to Drustvar, right here. So I thought it was worth mentioning, for Alliance it'll be pretty easy to get to Drustvar, for Horde, I would suggest coming down here to Nathanos' ship and talking to Tattersail and then click set sail for just far. Alright, and so to get to Ulfar's den, we need to make our way about here on the map to right here and start going up this path, which will take you around to the den. So just follow like so. Then come up here and the den will be down in a, in that cave. Well, I guess it's a den, cave den, whatever. So anyways, we're gonna come down here and we'll see Wolfar here. We're gonna talk to him. And now we need to make our way down here. All right, and once we've made it here on the map, you'll see this cave entrance here. We're going to go inside of it and make our way down the stairs. There may be stuff in here that we'll have to kill on the way down. Okay, once we're down here, we need to click on this. This is gonna spawn and we'll go ahead and kill it. After we kill it, we'll see this fetish here. We'll pick it up and then we need to make our way back to Ulfar. All right, once we're back at Ulfar, we'll turn that in. Then we need to head back to Ardenweald. All right, once we're back at the heart, we need to locate Hearn again. We will turn in that quest here. And now he wants us to speak to Arlon who is down here. I'm looking for Kivar. And now we need to go down here. All right, so once here, we'll locate this cave. We're gonna come in here, turn the quest to him, pick up the next quest. We gotta make our way this way. All right, so we will make our way here. And we're gonna run in here. He's in that cage. We'll click on him. And now we gotta get the keys. So we'll have to kill the guys at each location. Starting with this guy. Then we'll run over to the next guy here. Kill him, loot his key. Okay, and after we get the third key, we come back to the cage. Turn that in. But now, we're going to make our way down here. Alright, once we make our way here, we'll see this one. We're going to kill it. Okay, on a side note, before you kill him, you need to come over to Nika here and wait for her to, or him, to do the quest update, which will have you kill him. So if you did it before, like I did, well, I'll have to kill him again. Alright, so after you kill him, we'll come to... Kaivar, turn that in, 
And now we need to make our way over here. And once we've made it back to Kaivar's den, we turn that in. And now we need to get Nox Root from over here. Alright, so once we've arrived over here, we want to be on the lookout for these mushrooms on the ground, the Nox Root, and we'll go ahead and loot them. Alright, and once we've collected all of those, we need to make our way back here on the map. We're going to turn this into Kaivar. And now we need to make our way over here. Alright, so now once in here, we need to locate these witches. And we need to try to kill them for their satchel. Okay, once we loot the satchel, we will return here to Kaivar. We're going to turn that in. So I had forgotten this, but you also want to come right here and pick up the quest from the spear, which has you bring it back to Lord Hearn. Okay, so once you've turned the quest into Kaivar and you've turned the quest into Lord Hearn, then Kivar will have the next update. In which case we need to use this finish. We'll just click on this icon right here. And then we're going to kill these. Once those are killed, we're just going to click on this again. Spawn more, kill them. And we'll just keep recycling that until that gets to 100%. Once that's complete, we will pick up the quest from Kivar. Or turn in the quest to Kivar. And then pick up the quest from him, which all we've got to do for that now is to run into the heart. And we're going to use the little transporter fairy that will bring us up to the queen's chamber. But she is located here. So we'll click on this. Take me to Queen's Chamber. And we'll come up here and talk to the Queen. Turn that in. And that completes that chapter. Which that was chapter... 5. So now we'll work on chapter 6. Alright, so to start chapter 6, we're going to click on... Ysera, let us hear this plan. We'll wait for a little bit of RP. Alright, so we'll turn in the quest to her after a moment and pick up the next quest, which is going to have us go out and talk to Hearn. So we'll come out this way. Yeah, and he's just chilling right there. So we'll come up here, talk to him. And now... We need to make ourselves to, or make our way to Ruholm. Right, once we're at Ruholm, we'll talk to Reldorn. And this is going to have us approach Tirna Scythe, which means we need to come down here. Alright, so once we make it to this location, the quest will update. And he wants us to close these rifts. So we just got to run over here and... Click on them. So that's one, and now here's two. Okay, now it's gonna update and have us move forward this way. So we'll just continue forward like so. And then once we get to our location, it should update, but we'll just follow him. Okay, so yeah, now we're up here outside of that circle. Okay. And we go through a little bit of RP. After a moment, we can turn in the quest to hold High Mountain. And now we need to use this knife and basically go through a long 
thing of this. Okay, after a moment of that, which is basically just RP, we'll turn that in and get the next uh, quest, which is monster hunting. We need to make our way down here. And basically, we just need to kill stuff until we reach 100%. Alright, so once you get to 100%, he'll do a little RP, and we'll see this uh, tracking ability. We just follow the trail. We'll see him. We'll go through a little bit more RP. He's going to have us absorb, so basically, our observe. So basically we need to come over to this bush right here and just stand in it. Wait for a little bit more RP. After a minute of RP, we'll hop on the bird and he'll fly us away. All right, so once we land, the quest will update and we talk to Holden again, pick up his quests. He's got two of them for us. All right, once we get near the quest area here, we'll start to see these guys. I must get closer. We need to, well, he's running away, but here's one. We need to click this staff on them. They'll blow up. Kapow. And we need to collect these giblets or, well, digest digestive sacks. So we'll just run around blowing up every single one of them that we can find and continue to uh, blow them up and loot the sacks. All right, and the next thing we need to do is look for these life-hardened animus. They're a little tricky to find. So the first one is here at my location. From here, we need to run over here to get this one and I still recommend blowing these up instead of fighting them because it'll be quicker we'll come right over here to the third then we're gonna run up this way to the fourth and I'll just blow this one up so that I can click it and then I'll blow this one up as soon as I can. All right, he's almost killed that. We can come out of combat. Come on, oh, he found another one to play with. From that one, we're gonna run right down here to this tree. Click on that. Then we're gonna come down this way. We're going to click on this one. And then make our way over here to this one. And then lastly, we're going to make our way over here to click on that last one. Okay, so once we have both of those, we'll now return to Root Home. Once back at Root Home, we're going to talk to Reldorn again and turn in those quests. He's going to give us the next quest, which we need to come over to that location. Um, he'll give you this bush. Don't mount. If you mount, it will uh, go away. All right, once you make it to the location, we're going to turn in the quest to him. Pick up the next quest, say I'm ready, set the lure. And we'll wait for a moment for the big dude to come. There he goes. So now we're going to follow him over here. And just wait a moment. Okay. After a moment, he will say, okay, our praise weekend. And now we need to uh, defeat him. Right, so after defeating him, 
We'll turn in the quest to Holm. Pick up his new quest, which has us going back to the heart. All right, once we're back here, we can talk to Ysera. And now that chapter, I believe, is complete. Yep. So now we can start chapter seven. Right. No. We've completed chapter 7. Now we can start chapter 8. We do that by talking to Ysera, picking up her quest, which is going to have us come right outside here. Alright, once we're out here, we're going to talk to Bonzomdi and pick up his quest, which is going to have us come over this way. Alright, so once we've made it here, quest will update. He wants us to click on the portal. Okay, once you've loaded in, talk to Nsamdi again, pick up the quest from Zabu. And now we need to make our way outside of this temple here. Alright, so now that we're out here, we need to do a couple things these injured worshippers we're going to need to click on this right here on them like so we also need to kill basically anything to loot it for this dark mojo we need to get a hundred of it Just kill them and loot like so. So the next thing you want to do is come out here and look for this boss. Currently he's bugged for me, so what I'm going to have to do is hearth out and go back to the same portal I came in. And uh, try again. Alright, so what I had to do is go into war mode and then come back. All right, so he's gonna do this. This big spinny guy's gonna come out. We've got to kill him. And then once we've killed him, we can go back to killing the other guy. Okay, once he's dead, we need to loot for the armor, and then we need to go back to Bonsomdi and turn in the quests. Alright, and once that Bonsomdi, we'll turn that in, pick up the next quest. We need to come up here. Click on this gong. We're gonna come back here. Speak with him. I'm ready to begin. Now you're gonna be put into this situation. Basically, he's gonna start draining their life essence. And you wanna press 1 and heal him. You'll probably have to spam it quite a bit. But yeah. Alright, so once we're done. Then we're going to turn in the quest to Bonsomdi. And it looks like we get to pick a couple different items. But, you know, none of them are worth it for me. So we'll turn that in. And then now we're supposed to talk to Fulgin. But first, we're going to talk to... What? Where is he? There he is, there he is. Okay, so we'll click on him, and then click very well. Let's go. And now it says, travel to the mall. Okay, so we'll click on this portal here. 
that's going to bring us back to Ardenweald. And now we need to head to Oribos to go to the mall. Alright, so once you land in the mall, you'll have the spirit of Uljin there. Talk to him, and we're going to make our way down here to the first clue. Which is basically just this cage. So we'll go ahead and click on it. And this guy will come. I just kill him. After he's dead, we'll have another uh, quest update, which is all the way down here. Alright, so once we've reached this location, we're going to click on this cage here. And now we have another location down here. Alright, and once we make it here, he will update so our update the uh, quest or do a little RP anyway and then we need to kill these guys and click on that spirit there sorry not the spirit but we need to come over here and click on this okay and kill anything that comes through Click on him again. Now this guy will come. We'll kill them. Alright, once they're dead, the quest will update. And we'll have to make our way here. Alright, and once we've made it here, we're gonna click on there. And do the talking. Wait for a moment. Okay, now we'll turn the quest in here, pick up the next quest, in which case we need to make our way over here. Alright, once we've made our way down here, we will see this Loa. We need to click on him. So we'll just come over here, do a little clicking, it'll take a moment to free him. Alright, so we've got the first one rescued. Next, we need to go down here. Alright, once we've made it to this location here, we're going to click on Shadra. Free that Loa. And the next one is going to be down here. Alright, walking down here a little bit, we'll just click on the Spirit of Old Jin. Turn that in, click on him, wait and receive his anama. Takes a little bit as you can see. And there, the quest will be updated. We need to save Razam. So to do that, of course, we need to kill this thing. All right, after a moment of RP after killing that, be able to turn in the quest here and then we need to make our way back to Oribos and then back to uh, Ardenweald. All right once back in the heart we need to make our way up to the Winter Queen. We're gonna click on her and give her the spirit. There's gonna be some RP but you can just walk past it. We're going to go back down here, and we're going to talk to Ysera over here. Turn that in, and that completes that chapter. So now we are on the last chapter. For that, we need to talk to Ysera to pick up the quest, and then we need to go talk to Hearn down here. Alright, and once we've made it down here, Lord Hearn will be here. We're just going to talk to him, pick up his quest, pick up her quest, and her quest. Now we need to make our way into this area. We need to kill basically everything until that bar gets to 100%. We also need to find 
these and to click on them. Okay, here they come. So now I'll kill them. Okay, and just to clarify, by clicking on the banners, it won't complete any objectives, but you'll get an event where basically a bunch of creatures come to you and you'll end up getting like 50% from it. We also need to make our way down here and we need to kill Ingra Drift. So we'll go ahead and defeat him. Okay, we do need to locate the stones. There's gonna be four of them. We need to destroy those. All right, so once you've completed all that, we need to make our way over here and turn in the quest to Moonberry, Kaivar, and Lord Hearn. And we'll pick up the next quest, which has us come up here. And we need to click on this barrier. And then once in here, we're going to fight So we'll just kill these waves that come and go through all of this. All right, so after you defeat the couple waves and then defeat the witch, we'll turn in the quest for Moonberry and we'll click, let's get out of here. Go for a little ride. Once we land, we're gonna talk to him and we'll say, I am ready for Ardenweald. It's going to load us through this screen where we're going to have to complete a scenario. And so the first thing we need to do is ride Yasera. So we just click on her. And basically as we're flying, we're just going to press one. It is a little confusing because our camera doesn't change from this. Normally when we fly on something, it's a little bit different. Anyways, we're just gonna click on one for a while and put everything to sleep. Right after we put everything to sleep, Sarah will fly us here to the heart. And we're gonna come and talk to the Winter Queen. Wait for a little bit of RP. After a moment, we'll then be able to click on the Winter Queen or we'll get closer to her. Stand in the circle and press that button to receive her blessing. And now we need to lead the charge. So we need to come down here. Actually, first, we need to click on this horn. Now we make our way down here. And we're gonna just kill 45 different uh, enemies as we make our way down. All right, and once you've reached 45 enemies, we need to make our way down here. And then we will speak with the queen. Wait for another moment of RP. All right, so after a moment of RP, we're then tasked to assist the four different i guess you'd say generals and there's different uh things here it's basically in a cross so i'm gonna come over here and we're gonna attack this guy and once we clear out all this we will uh be able to have that part completed. You do have this Queen's Wrath thing that you can use every 30 seconds. It does a bunch of damage, so it's definitely worth it. Alright, so I think now that we've killed that, we can click this. There we go. And now. Aelith is assisted. So we're just going to continue to the next four crosses and 
basically just do the same thing. All right, once we've assisted all four of those, we need to make our way back to the queen. Do a little bit of RP. Now we need to destroy the four anchoring runes. We're gonna come over here. And it's actually not a clicky, it's just regular damage. So we'll go through and damage those. Oh, be careful of the fear. All right, and after you've defeated all four of those, we can now attack Gorak Zar. So we'll go ahead and defeat her. In a quick style. Or at least attempting to do it in quick style. All right. Now that she is down, we're going to make our way to the Winter Queen. We are going to talky-talky, say I'm ready to go. We'll get this loading screen. We will then end up here, in which case we come and talk to the Winter Queen to turn the quest in. Uh, we pick our little reward, which doesn't matter for me. And there you go. You have now completed the Night Fae Covenant storyline or our quest line. Congratulations. Hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully it was enjoyable. If it was, go ahead and press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. As always, thanks for watching.